So today is super gloomy out. It's definitely a day that's gonna rain all day and I'm filming outside all day, so it is what it is. <laughs> I'm headed to Serena Chico. You guys will see me film some apartments and homes. And then, uh, honestly, there's a lot we have to do. So I feel like it's a full day shoot, but I don't wanna be there all day. Cause I have other things to do, to be honest with you. And it kind of like inserted itself in my schedule. <laughs> Well, now you guys know I'm a planner. I plan, I over plan everything for a reason, but I'm just trying to go with the flow. I think I told you guys on this channel earlier this year, my theme these days is allow, let go, let God go with the flow. Yeah, like literally I was stressed all of this last weekend that passed and my live eczema, you could already see it's flaring just from like, you can't see it, but I can feel it from just being stressed out and I'm like, why? Why? Especially when it's not my fault, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> okay, the Uber's here, let me go. So just from the capital shoppers quickly because I was thinking of ordering food uh, with the, uh -huh, with the lady who's now making me and a few different people, like my friends, food. Um, She, needs Tupperware and I gave her my glassware and it chipped. I wanted to cry. You guys saw my struggle for my kid to bring my glassware. I'm like, it chipped in Uganda? Hell no. I literally was like, hell no, just hell no. So I found containers here. I just need to find small ones for like soup as well. We should do. Ooh, do they have lids though? I'm seeing these. These will really do. Where are the lids? Are they sold separately? Lids sold separately? I guess. Okay, let me sort myself out. So it's so wild after complaining for like a month. First of all, let's talk about the sun, guys. Let's talk about the sun. But yeah, after complaining for a month of the heat, it's so hot, it's so hot, it's so hot. It's cold today and I ain't mad at it. I walked out like, shoot, should've brought us. What is it? A, a shawl or whatever, but whatever. I was like, it's okay, I'm, I'm okay with this. But look at the view from this apartment. We're filming these apartments today. I'll put them up in a few weeks when I have time to edit. <laughs> but at least check out the freaking view look at this gorgeous view so this is Serrano Chigo where the villas are there the apartments are here and then the hotel is on the right um then there's a the golf area we can we have to be a member to golf though and it goes all the way around and then there's Lake Victoria it's a very therapeutic location you can find out more from my video once it's up in a bit. In the meantime, we're just here. We're about to film. Uh, oh, I have you guys met Higa anyway? He does <laughs> videography for me from time to time. So he's doing the, these apartments for them. And we're on another project together. The content world in Uganda is very small. So you end up working with everybody all the time, generally speaking. I haven't been lately because I haven't been that serious for a long time. But now that we're back and better than ever all the time on YouTube, uh, you can see people come and come around every once in a while. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, so there is the marina. So if you have a boat, you can dock it there and enjoy like Victoria, so gorgeous. Um, it's really, really gorgeous also the when it's very sunny out, but even right now, even now as it's a rainy, cooler day, amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lighting. Lighting. <laughs> 
What were you saying? There's AI therapy? Yeah, I'm Did y'all know there's AI therapy? Like there's, anyway, I need to Google it. Just heard it right now, hot. <laughs> From the interwebs. I could not have a therapist that's AI. That just sounds insane to me. But anyway, teach their own. I would try it out just for shits and giggles and to report back to you guys. Try not to go cuckoo. <laughs> I feel like it would be hilarious. You guys know I'd be trying things and then reporting back to the internet. So it'd be so funny, but like to take life seriously and take do AI therapy, that's insane. <laughs> I'm serious. Imagine they could actually be programming. They could be programming AI me. Therapy. And then just trying AI to like therapy. replicate me, then clone me. It's just the government. Ah, no, no, no. Then the whole world is like clone people. <laughs> it's actually mad. This mic works, Sika. I think it might be the connection to your phone because I see it anyway. We're having gimbal issues and mic issues. The life of content, Karen. Oh, hmm? Yeah, it's from a vlog. Hello. Want to appear? Now that you have to get used to being in the socials. Everyone say hi to Nisha. We're property hey, babes. <laughs> Pam Goldie Real Estate. <laughs> Love it. Bye from us. Oh, and then from us. the Floral Lab as well, which Where I did a video a while back. Well, you don't want to you don't want to mention no we're just doing okay fine i show everything in my life the whole aspect <laughs> but fine we're 360 over here on the channel shit i'm really late where i need to be next but you don't really want your interview you have so much talking huh? you have so much talking i know mine but at least mine is easy like i'm i'm i find now i've done so many properties like uh, be able to just boom 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 let's go and i really gotta get out of here wow no, look at this special guest <laughs> What, a new gadget? <laughs> oh, the Zoom recorder. Let me show y'all, actually. Are you gonna put it in your pocket? And <laughs> you have to put it in your bag and, and move. And move with the bag. So first it was move? this thing that wasn't working. Then it was this, huh? How do you now it's working? I think now it's working. Because it's only receiving from me, and then it's showing on that. But then this thing also has another recorder here, so let me see. Oh, okay. that I don't know. That's why you expertise me. I don't know these things. <laughs> the most I know are road mics. <laughs> so we're done filming, but I have to give you guys a sneak peek. I have to give you a sneak peek. This is me manifesting. Like I just walked into my home. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Let me show you the home. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Ah, it's so nice. Excuse me. So why I'm like screaming and it's so nice is literally it's too aloft. Like, yes, yes, this is all really nice, but like, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. <laughs> I'm also very hungry and hyper and I'm going to crash soon, but anyway, I had to show you guys. It is too nice. Um, Diesel's coming soon when the other video is edited. I'm going down now. I think we're, I'm done for the day. My part two will be another day. Yeah, they packed in a lot of things. Um, I don't think they realize what it takes to film. I kept quiet because I made it script and everyone kind of just wasn't getting it. I was like, child, it takes a lot to film. It takes a lot to film. It takes a lot to film. Anyway, yeah, I want to get out of here and we're going to eat quickly by the marina and then the day is done. We're done. Wrap on a Tuesday. So we're here at the marina. And you can see the water. Look at that water. Lovely. Where do we go? To here. Just gonna have a quick lunch. So you can dock your boat here if you're a member. I have no idea how much it costs, don't ask me. Thank you. I have to eat lunch slash dinner at this point because it's so late. I need to wash my hands. So I know always looks the same everywhere, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like Boeing's. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Yeah. So like for the private license one, it's usually when you have enough money to buy your own plane. Or like your fat, you know what so I mean? So the private one? Okay. But he doesn't come with chips. No, it's a soft. Sesame chicken and Serena. Thank you. Thank you. I should have gotten regular fish. Hey guys, it's the 
first time seeing you guys today. We're oh, tempted to film and did not have some of my equipment. So we're just gonna go check our restaurants and upload for Bachazi. We're going to Le Boti first. And then, what's the other place called? Alden. Aldea. Aldea. Aldea after. Wow, uh, Le Boti, yeah, it's still new. The other one is definitely new. They just opened. I want to say maybe this week or last week. I think they had a soft launch a few weeks ago, but anyway, point is we can go check it out. The smoothie was so good, I forgot to vlog. Salad. All right, Le Boti, stop number one. I'm so full. I don't even know if I have space for stop number two, but let's see. Hey y'all, so I am back from Le Boti. It was a pleasant surprise. Honestly, let me sit and chat with you. Let me sit and chat. So the initial, I don't know, my initial thought of it was obviously checking out the Instagram page and I think it's just the same as a lot of places in Uganda. Like, pictures don't do it justice and then even in the photos, like, I don't know what's up with club, but the restaurants they keep giving us with this openly open concept, I'm like, not everyone in the restaurant needs to be able to see everyone. It's really weird. I don't know if it's just me, but it's weird. Throw in a booth, throw in some, like, something to separate. I can't think of the term right now, it's been a long day. But, like, demarcations. <laughs> to be able to separate, put some plants in between some tables, you know, make it, like, cute and, like, a little cute little nook. We don't really do that these days. Um, and then the lighting is always a bright. So, mind you, it was lunchtime, so there was nothing about lighting to even think about, but... I was just like, ciao. So that was me with Instagram. Then we get there. To be honest with you, a lot of the pleasant, pleasant surprises were more than just what it looked like. It still looked like what it looked like on, the, on Instagram. It still looked really pretty and it was really cute. It just was giving like cafeteria, right? So we walk in, I was like, okay, not too bad. You can see a lot more of the green. And because it's been so hot in Kampala lately, like the air was breezing through. It was a vibe. So then they hand us the menus. I'm looking through this whole one menu. It was just devoted to like smoothies, juices, um, what are those called? Like little juice shots. And then there was a whole page that was just all about like problems and diseases and then natural, not, I wouldn't say natural remedies, but natural things and foods and ingredients that we eat, like uh, herbs, fruits, and uh, what's ginger, like a root? <laughs> and there, like, so like, there was like, okay, I could think of P PMS, depression, and there are certain things and then think that you would take. So I was just like, this is so health conscious. So then I asked them like, are you guys like a health food place? She's like, yeah, we're just really into like healthy living. Then the actual menu was more African based foods. I was like, this place is dope. Their Instagram does not do it justice at all. I will be back. I'll order from them for sure. I had a really heavy lunch before I, um, we started working. So we just did smoothies and a salad, but pleasant surprise i love being pleasantly surprised anyways you guys are seeing my frame back there it's gonna be a mirror you just need to put the mirror in whenever i got time uh but yeah ah, love it i love being pleasantly surprised but they definitely could kill that cafeteria thing but i can see how all they have to do is put green planters between some of the tables so like a group of six of the tables there maybe four over there just to like space it out um, not space it up, just to create some nooks and crannies. Like, nobody needs to see everybody. If any of you guys have ever been to Asian Fusion in uh, Fairway Hotel, I love it there. It's just, it just, they just got it. They, they understood the assignment of restaurant floor plans. Because a lot of these restaurants have been getting guys cafeteria style dining. I'm like, bruh, I do not need to see everybody. I don't need to be that high up. By the time I'm high up and I'm seeing everybody, I'm like, is this high school cafeteria, courts cafeterias that I used to do work for my mom when I first graduated. So I'd always be in courthouses. I'm like, it's giving that. <laughs> it's giving that. Anyways, you can see the sun is setting. That's why it's so nice, my face. Um, I was gonna say I'm gonna show up on Instagram, but no. I've been in a really irritated mood lately. So I think I'm just going to sign off. Oh, my food got delivered, super happy about that. So I'm going to enjoy my food and relax 
and go to sleep. Oh, read. Ooh, I'm gonna watch a vlog. I'm gonna watch Heart again. I mentioned her in my last vlog. I'm gonna mention her again. I'm gonna watch her. And then I'm going to uh, read because I'm really obsessed with this series right now. Uh, and then I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna sleep. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm gonna go deal with a little bit of wahala in the lobby to make sure my booth is up in time for tonight's event. They're very irrelevant things. One's an Easter booth. Tonight there's Vinca, the sky's exclusive with Vinca, so they just want it up to promote Easter and the fact that we have Easter and whatnot, but it's more of like a kitty booth. You saw, you saw how the Valentine's Day one was? Everybody wanted to be in there. I don't know if adults are gonna to wanna to be in this Easter booth, but at least kids will, so. I'm gonna go deal with that. And a bit of a gloomy day. I don't need to be in office. Typically, my Thursdays are for editing and I don't come in office, I work remotely. But because Tuesday, you guys saw me filming um, at Serena Chigo Properties, I couldn't be out of office for three days in a row. That's insane. <laughs> Especially on a busy, like I know month is so busy and there's so many events at the hotels that just like, not even that it's not a good look, it just also I need to make sure my team does what they're supposed to do. Which I feel like is the repetitive sentence I keep saying is my team doing as they're supposed to do. Um, oh, they've already started the setup, so it's getting warmer right now. How nice. So that's up here. Typically, there's like a gazebo. And then. We've said, I'd be, there's a buffet here typically. I think they'll do that later. So, progress. Oh, we even have seats up there. I love this so much. All right, let's go check on my booth. So this is our area. I don't know why it's roped off. I do want people to be able to stand there and take their pics and stuff. And those are giant eggs. I don't know why my bunny's broken. And who did that? It's really weird. And these two are two the exact same. It's really weird that they're the same bunny. To rotate them with PHK, I guess. So we have the Vinca set up, which is so cute. Check now. She's so pretty. East African babes. So it's like 6 30. I feel like the show starts at like 9 child. I've been editing and editing and editing. I have so many videos up for you guys. Well, edited. Some that are like 75% done. Did some Instagram stuff too while my work day was over so that I could stay consistent. We're gonna check on the team. First of all, let's take in the sunset. So nice. I can't vlog anywhere. Copyright, copyright. This is bugs too. Anyway, heading down to go check on the team, sit with Paulina Dunzel, make sure everything's good. Uh, I need to see that the posting is happening and such. And then I kind of want to like sneak out before it ends for sure. This camera is dirty. Is that better? I don't even know.
Good, better get ready. Yes, we appreciate you guys. Thank you. Hey y'all, hey, it is Friday. Can you imagine? I forgot my charger at home. I had a whole day planned at office to do, and I was like, bro. But you know what? I think things happen for a reason, because I was gonna take my hair out. I like go to the salon to take my hair out at five, essentially, when I was done. But now I can just go and do that since I have the charger while I do my work, so I think it's more efficient that way anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly eat something and then head out there. We're going to check out Izuri. We haven't been there in a minute. It has been a minute. Uh, so I don't know if much has changed. Hopefully, yeah, let's see when like businesses I like and frequent have uh, progressed. It's been a minute because I was on my wig game. I learned how to corner on my own head with my gel braids under my wig or the braids I would do. And now I've been going to Batty or I would go to Nicole, uh, Marite's mom in uh, Jubilee. So yeah, I haven't just haven't been to Zuri in a minute. But my natural hair, I, as you guys can probably tell, my edges are suffering so i need to actually just let my hair be out and breathe and leave it alone but another thing is like that's a lot of combing and stress but so are the braids so i don't really know the solution i just know that my hair needs to be out and at least with wigs uh i just put on cornrows or do my cornrows and then they're covered but anyway whatever point being is <laughs> let's go get my hair done uh, I'm just gonna eat quickly now and put on some pants because I just took off my work skirt. But my top is pretty casual so I can stay on and I'm back home, hair out, randomly twisted. I'll deal with it in the morning, I'm tired. <laughs> but it smells so good and so like salon fresh. I left you guys last at the salon. I went to my uncle's to go say hi. Ended up there for my five minute high, five hours later, so now I'm home at night. Uh, just FaceTime my mom because there's just drama in the streets. Um, I live across from a Kofunda and honestly we're like, dope people all the time is always good but they've been parking in our property and then right in front of the gate so i got dropped off in ubers as a woman like randomly in the dark and down the road no scar and whatever obviously like the road is populated so i get it but still it's just not a comforting thing especially when you're coming to your own home and then um, whenever I have friends coming over or whatever, they always have to wait while they find the person who's parked there, tell them to move their vehicle. Like, it's just dumb. So before my mom left, she had told, I think she came home at one day and the same thing happened. My uncle had to drop her down the road. She walked. So she told them, like, move your car. So the, there's this one guy who's actually, like, I feel like I've known him from COVID, but because um, there's, like, a bunch of, you know, the general, like, when people hang out at Kofundas um who came out and was like you're not a good neighbor like he was so pissed and i was just like drama dramatic like just move your car like literally why are you even parked where you're not supposed like get a life essentially so then <laughs> today i had time i was like no not today i'm like if i'm going anywhere like first of all that all happened then i was like i'm i told him i was like i don't have people coming over you need to move your car. It's like, you cannot park here. To make it even worse, it's not even them. It's their female randos they have who they just decided to hang out with at the Kofunda. I was like, you're a white chair chick. Move your car. Like, are you dumb? And as I'm addressing them, mind you, I was nice. I was just like, can you please move your car? Like, it doesn't make any sense. I haven't even been drinking. I don't drink these days. You guys know I'm on my ab mission and journey. So I was like pretty okay where i was just like yeah like move your card like this doesn't make any sense but then the guy comes i'm in the doorway right like kind of just being like whose car is it can you please move your cars like just please just move your cars we keep asking just move your cars like it's common sense as i'm asking the guy walks out walks past me claps his hand like right by my ear and he's like what's the problem da -da -da. i was like <gasps> Where do you have the 
the audacity to think that's okay. I was livid. I was like, who, don't ever effing do that to me again. I was like, who the hell do you think you are? I'm like, who raised you? Who raised you to think that's okay? Are you crazy? I popped off. And you know, as you guys know, we're very calm people, chill people. Everyone's like, Rachel, calm down. I'm like, calm the what? I was like, ah, I'm Canadian today. It's like a pop off. <laughs> Like, I have time. I have time today. I was like, no, you don't do that. That's rude, first of all. Second of all, why am I coming here upset over something that you're doing infringing on my property? Are you crazy? I went off. The neighbor Escar, who's always freaking drunk, I'm like, you don't know me from Adam. I don't care that you've seen me for the last four years. And I say hi to you and Kiki, you don't know me. He was in my face being like, Rachel, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I was like, if you don't get out of my face right now, <laughs> <laughs> and the thing about me is I'm always a happy person but when I'm angry I see red I see black and I pop off I don't care I don't care I'll tell you I was just telling my mom this on the phone I was like I will tell you where to go and how to get there in a split second no problems let's go so now there you know Kofunda style people are like in a circle so there's this chick and her back was to me and she's like why is she still here why is she talking I was like who's talking to you Who's, do you even live here? Who are you? Get off the street. You're a street hell. Get off me. Get off. <laughs> I was just so annoyed. Okay, I didn't say all of that, but I literally was like, who are you? Why are you even, why are you talking? She's like, why are you still here? Why are you talking? I'm like, why are you talking? I was like, I don't care if you guys think I'm rude. Who raised y'all? Who raised y'all to think you could go and park in someone else's area? And then they're upset with you calmly, by the way, coming to tell you, please remove your car multiple times. And you just take them for idiots. And then you want to go and to take, get an inch and you got to take it as a mile. So anyway, I walked across the street. I stood there, first of all, to all of them. That's how I knew that it was just the random side chicks. It wasn't even the guys who frequent there. I know where they usually park and I know their cars. And it wasn't there. The last time when my mom, when, when it was the guy that I mentioned earlier. So that guy starts being like, all these years we parked there. There's never been any issues. All of a sudden now there's problems. I'm like, because you've li literally taken advantage of it. Every single time I have people, they're always trying to find somewhere to park. Do I come to your home and start parking in front of your, in your gate? And your Anyway, I've even over talked about this topic, but I was just like, no manners. Like who, what? <laughs> so I'm telling my mom this story. She's like, those are the kind of guys that beat their wives. You need to be careful. <laughs> I was like, I know. My big mouth, be, it goes, goes, and it goes, and it doesn't stop when I'm pissed. I will keep talking until you get out of my face. Get out of my face. It's rare that I get mad over something that I'm not legitimately in the right to be mad about. By the time I get upset, it's because you're an idiot. <laughs> There's very few things where I'm mad and I'm just trying to be a bitch for no reason and just making a big deal and be dramatic. It's very rare. The times that I'm pissed, it's literally because it's you. <laughs> You're the problem. It's not me. <laughs> anyway, funny story. So, yeah, I was just like, let me be in my apartment before I get people come up after me and whatever. And I can't wait till it's daylight. And I'm there just getting my casual milk and bread. And we get to talk face to face when there's not beer in your system and you're not alcohol. What is it? Uh, uh, liquid courage. Let's go. Let's talk about how you're an idiot. Let's talk about Let's break it down. <laughs> anyway, that was my story for Friday. I'm going to bed. I have a funeral, a burial to be at tomorrow. I'm in the afternoon, but I know I have a burial to be at tomorrow. So... I just want to read and be in good energy. And yeah, that's just not, that place is not it. It's really not. <laughs> hey, so y'all left me yesterday my little rant about my neighbors. The worst. Anyway, it's Saturday morning. I'm off to a burial. Um, My great aunt passed, me and Philip's great aunt passed. So he's actually coming to get me and then we have to go to service and burial and such. Um. And then that's really it. And then later just chilling and such, but I don't think I'll show much of that to be honest with you or really any of it, but uh, you guys can come along with me to uh, Katende. That's where my grandpa's from. So Philip and I's grandparents are siblings. So yeah, that's where they're from, that's the area. <laughs> so we're gonna go head out there. He's about to come pick me, but I'm so hungry. 
like can you imagine i'm going to a service and a burial and i haven't eaten but we got the times messed up so he woke me he called me and i was like i'm not even home <laughs> so i was rushing to get back home i have so many leftovers it's disturbing i'll enjoy them for another day i guess i guess i guess i guess yeah oh my god so much food it's crazy yeah i really don't have time to eat that Maybe I can get some tea on the way. I don't know. Let's see. Gloves outside. Let's go. I'm such a person where I like to wear heels everywhere. You guys know that about me. I'm a heel chick. The higher the heel, the closer to God. But with burials, you don't actually ever really know where you're ending up unless you've been. Like, I've been, obviously, to my grandpa's village. But it was so long ago. I don't know the situation. Um. So, I was going to wear... Like kind of like beach um, type of uh, wedges, but I'm not even gonna take the chance. I'm just gonna wear flats and then go do my toes later. <laughs> Cause I need to. This guy with a pole on his shoulder as he rides a bike with two hands. <laughs> Happy Monday. The day's pretty much done. I'm um, just here working on work as usual. The day's, yeah, like I said, it's almost done. So I'm just um, uploading uh, one of my sit down KBs and chai. First of all, I have to say thank you guys for showing up and showing out. I was answering comments before, like, yo, I love the conversation. I even love that people are responding to each other. They're just talking about just general things and perspectives that are outside of their norm and what they understand and see. People are being really respectful of the comments with each other. They're saying yes, they're not agreeing, but they're like, okay, like, I love it. This is what I want, the conversation to be rolling. Please do like, subscribe, share. My big thing is sharing. Please share to other people so they watch. They can also comment, because I'm getting a lot of people who are like, oh, you know, I don't usually comment, but I'm like, yes, welcome, welcome. The conversation's hot, it's hot. There's a lot of relatable things, I don't think we talk about it on a regular basis. I was just answering someone who actually, um, she had mentioned that she's Nigerian and her husband's Ugandan. They live in the UK and they're moving, so she was just asking for advice. And one of the things I was writing to my long response to her was that you don't get enough people who understand where you're coming from or your perspective um, because of like your upbringing being brought up in North America, but you're African, so you're always torn between two worlds that you're trying to mesh together. So it's nice to actually have like, like-minded like people to get it, and then also people who may not have come from that experience, but who appreciate and understand where you're coming from. Because honestly, for the longest time, I really felt like I was complaining about a lot of things until people, either you go to North America or you come to Uganda, and they're like, yo, I get it. I was like, I know, I was, I'm not crazy. I just talk a lot. <laughs> I talk a lot and I like to share my perspective, but I'm not nuts. And sometimes things are a lot. Even when I'm in Canada, I'll be there for a long period of time and I'll be like, damn, I miss you, Vanda. <laughs> I'm like, there's a lot happening here. I'm like, ooh, the ghetto, ooh, the ghetto, ooh, the ghetto. Like, for example, why don't we have bodas, like a courier system in Canada? I know the answer. I know it's because of the monopoly of that said terrible business called Canada Post that can't even get your packages right. Like, how are you the only people? Why is this monopoly existing? What big, powerful family is taking over this that you can't even get something mailed from here to down the road without it costing freaking $50? You know what I mean? Why? Why aren't there couriers in Toronto? Like, not the underground ones, but an organized system, like an app. There's food ones, but what about just general things? Like you just need signs, sent out, whatever. Maybe there's so many businesses. And yes, a lot of things have gotten digital, but still, like why do we have a Postmates? It's weird. 
the monopoly ain't it's giving monopoly. It's giving monopoly and it ain't right. <laughs> so every time I'm in Canada, I'm like, I need this thing done. And I'm like, where is my Buddha? Where's Roger? Roger, my Buddha, guys, the best Buddha ever. It's the best. I trust him with my life. If I was dying on the side of the road, I trust Roger. <laughs> Anyway, I just, yeah, I'm just loving it. I love it. I love the community on here. So keep sharing, you guys. Keep sharing, keep liking, and keep commenting because it helps me understand more of what you guys want. Like, for example, recently, I'm just scrolling, let me check. Um, my video of why I left Canada was so much, had way more views than other videos. So I'm like, okay, you guys clearly like, like comparison videos because I want to do one of like what I miss about Canada. Because a lot of the comments made it seem like I wasn't appreciative or like, no, I don't appreciate my upbringing and I loved my upbringing. I loved it so much and I wouldn't trade that for the world for me. But I have to now start thinking about like, you know, starting a family and kids and hence why I moved here. That's a big reason. And I was like, I'm a single individual. I kind of have more autonomy on how I can like live my life and how it shapes out now versus like later when you have children. And who knows? Like I always say this, I'm like my kids might flourish in a certain area where it's like, no, we need to move because there's more resources and opportunities somewhere else. Or they might flourish here and it might work out. But one thing is for sure, I'm going to be a present parent. And it's easier to do that here than it is to do in Canada. So yeah, that was one example. I want to talk more about kids because like, I love children. I've always loved children. I've been a kid that loved kids. Like I loved to be around babies and stuff. And I remember what someone commented recently, they're like, wow, you don't seem like that because you'll be around children. But I find it really weird and I don't want randos around my children. Like unless you actually have a relationship with me while you all dotted it all over my child, it's weird, get off my kid, don't breathe on them, it's awkward. <laughs> so I don't do that to other people. But if you're my friend or like, Tracy's baby, my sister, and Mia. That's different. I'm gonna breathe up all on your kid. Like, of course. But people I've just met and children, like, I'm, I love them. I'm so cordial. I'll play around with them and everything. But to be all up in your kid's space, it's just weird to me. I find it very awkward because I wouldn't want that to happen to me. Like, I met you, what, like, I've known you a few months and why are you all over my baby? Like, it's just weird to me. Like I said, I'm a different breed of person. As you guys can see from my vlogs, I'm very particular in certain things and areas of my life. I'm super organized. I like my things a particular way. My kids are completely are included. You can't just come to, oh my god, bitch, I love, I love this. Oh my god, your baby. No, you can say hi to me, hug me, but don't touch my baby. I don't know you from anywhere. <laughs> even if it's for a few months, I don't know you like that. It could be even a few years, I don't know you like that. And that's one thing I've learned in my 30s. There's a difference between friends and acquaintances. If you're an acquaintance, yes, I see you often. You've known me for the last couple of years, but you're not my friend. Don't breathe around my child because it's weird. It's awkward, it's weird. Get away. I'll spray you. <laughs> I don't have sanitizer just to spray people, but no, you have germs. You have germs. You guys don't understand energy people carry. The things people can, like the impress children are so impressionable. Things you can imp imprint on them. There's just so much, I'm like, no. So because I'm so mindful of how I would want to be like that with my children, I don't do that with people's children. I will admire a child. I'm obsessed. I love little chunky legs. I love babies. I'm obsessed with children and babies, but I'm not the one or the two to start. I lived in Canada, stranger danger. Stranger danger. And unless that's your mama's friend and real friend, like your mom has said, that is my friend. That is a stranger. An acquaintance is a stranger. Stay away from my children. <laughs> okay, now we're done with my rant. Well, my imaginary children I don't have yet. Um, yeah, I need to take a little break. I've been sitting in meetings from 9.30. It is 3.30. I just even see some air. I opened the window, but I'm like, let me go stand on the balcony outside. I was in a meeting at noon, and I saw flashes of light. I was like, am I going to faint? Like, someone was talking to me, staring at me, and I was like, I'm not registering anything you're saying. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, let's go take a little breather, go check out the views. I think five minutes is good, then we come back and finish the day. I have one more meeting in an hour and I'm running, running, like bolting out of here. You saying bolting out of here. Y'all, I'm trying to run out of here. I'm trying to run out of here. I'm trying to review a video that's an hour and 10 minutes. It's a YouTube video. It's not mine, it's for um, it's a, a brand. Um, so my hack in life, even how I got through Risa, Risa, Risa's, Risa Tisa, 
1.5x, 2x, even me, when you guys have my sit downs at yours, I'm like, oh, now it's a long time. 2x me, 2x me. The only issue about 2x me is I speak fast generally. So you might want to 1x me, maybe 1.25x me. But there's certain people I'm like, 2x, honey. Risa Tisa. It was like, I cannot sit down and watch a seven hour video. I need a quick, 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 like, let's, let's get to the point. 2x there was done that, hands done in three hours. Perfect. Some of you might think that's insane to watch and listen to someone for three hours, but if you think about it, there's a, how many segments of me doing my makeup? Like three, three and a half? I was done. It took a couple days, but I was done. Child, even like cooking or doing something, cleaning around the house, whatever. I would just play it. <laughs> All right, guys, we are home. Showered, food delivered. So there's pasta, which seems like a lot. We're still trying to understand portion controls from her. Uh, this is ground beef, um, spinach, and then cheese for the pasta. So I'm doing this food thing. I think I mentioned to you guys in a previous video, but essentially, um, I get my dinner cooked for me now, which is perfect. Usually the portions are huge, so they really suffice for lunch, which means I don't need to eat lunch at office anymore, like at the buffet, because as you guys know, me, MSG, we ain't friends like that. We ain't friends like that. This is a lot of carbs. I feel like with the amount of food that's given, it works for lunch as well. But at least I get to come home, the food's hot, and, and I get to just eat. I came home a bit late today, so I could have obviously eaten. This food's like hella hot when it came to the door, but this is okay too. That's a lifesaver. So yeah, there's four of us, three of which are guys, and one of which is me, the female. And at first I was like, maybe these are guy portions. Then I was like, no, these are just two people portions. <laughs> Cause I eat a lot. For a female, for a person, I eat a lot. Like I like to eat, I like food. So I'm gonna be trying to understand to not be reduced, but in my honest opinion, I think just scientifically and mathematically makes sense to just have it, whatever we're paying, just half it <laughs> that's what you should do but yeah i have a lot of leftovers from thursday and friday just because you guys know last week i had a lot going on <laughs> literally i mean it wouldn't be a second portion for someone else but be like a kid or something put a little bit of cheese and i'm trying to like work on my you know abs but ooh, she don't hurt no bad and the remainder i will save oh Plantain in the fridge as well. I'm gonna warm that on a side dish. Anyway, what was I saying before? Because I love cheese. Basically, oh yeah, we need to definitely work on the portion control. Then also that will help with the expense. Because I'm actually spending more than I was before when I was buying my own groceries. But it's a lifesaver because besides the weekends where I would spend, I don't actually buy anything. Just dinner. Lunch and breakfast is at office, which is nice, you know? So it's so funny, like working in um, in Uganda, it's like people feel obligated, like your job has to give you breakfast or lunch. I don't know, it's so weird. Like that's why when you hire people, they'll be like, transport, lunch, and I'm like, that's your salary, honey. I've never heard of anywhere that gives you that. But how nice. <laughs> how nice. Okay, what's really remaining is, um, okay. Yeah, it's still okay. My leftovers for lunch will be like the peas and stuff. And then if this is a lot for me today, I probably won't eat the second portion. I have to figure it out. <laughs> figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. I just feel like we're buying enough for more than a, like a family. Mathematically doesn't make sense. I even want to go with her and go shop. We're gonna be like, let's go shop together, baby girl. Math ain't mathing. Math ain't mathing. Okay, I'm excited to eat my food. So let me just show you guys. So Monday's meal, which really does like a lot, and there's still a remainder. Yeah, she used to cut these portions tremendously. So I'm gonna watch some Abbott Elementary as I enjoy my meal, and that wraps up this week's vlog. Thank y'all for coming along. Enjoying Kampala with me. 
Um, and yeah, until next week, which is tomorrow, <laughs> but the next vlog. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Bye. Bye.